Wow, it's the last favorites of the year. Crazy. Happy December, happy Vlogmas for those of you guys watching. I'm Sarah, if you're new here, and welcome to my monthly favorites video. We're gonna be jumping into my November favorites for this video, but just a quick reminder that this is gonna be the last monthly favorites video that you guys will see until February. I do not do a December monthly favorites because I do a best of beauty in January, so that'll be coming up next month in place of a monthly favorites video. But with that being said, can we just comment on the fact that it's already December? That is so nuts. I've been working on Vlogmas for like the last week or so. I need to pre-film so many videos because we're going to Cancun, which now that I'm talking about that does bring me to one of my points that I wanted to let you guys know. There's not a ton of favorites in this video just because we are heading to Cancun plus the holiday season so I haven't been spending a ton of money besides my little vacation haul that I put up the other day and also too I've been trying to save up for a little thing for myself for my birthday. If you guys saw last year's vlogmas you know that there was that one very exciting video that I'm sure most of you guys watched. Well I've decided I'm just gonna pretty much make that a tradition for my birthday for vlogmas and i'm gonna treat myself every vlogmas so been saving up for that but that was enough teasing don't forget to like and comment on this video it lets me know to keep these monthly favorites videos going into 2022 as well and if you are new i would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell right over here make sure to join me in the holiday season i am doing vlogmas and i am a full vlogmas participator so if you guys love daily videos during december this is a good channel to be subscribed to but anyways we're just gonna get into my favorites like I said, there's not a ton. Let's start out with like the one lifestyle favorite that I have, which I'm honestly not even gonna talk about that long because you guys are gonna see it in the next video too. But it is my new Sherpa blanket that I got from Amazon, you guys. If you didn't see that video, basically this is the coziest thing we've been fighting over in the house, all three of us. I have currently reclaimed it. It stays on my side of the bed for me to sleep with, but at any given point, Spartacus or Trevor will inevitably steal it again. But it is just so soft and cozy. I love the design. Comes in a ton of different colors. This is a rose brown. It comes in like an actual chocolate brown, a green. I think like there's a navy, a gray. Tons of colors to go with whatever your home aesthetic is. And it's just perfect because it goes with like the fall and winter vibes so well. Just like imagine having this as an accent on your bed or like out in your living room for you to like cover your legs when it gets cold. It's just truly the coziest thing ever. And the other side is a fully Sherpa. So it doesn't get much warmer than this folks. And then I do apologize if you guys can hear any background noise. One of the places in the complex behind us is having a party and they're being very, very loud. So if that is distracting, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. But, oh, one of my lights just went out. Uh-oh. All right, I can't fix that right now. We're just gonna film with one light. Wow, everything's going wrong at the moment, but it's fine. We're fine. So moving into beauty, I did want to mention the Coco and Eve Glow Figure Body Moisture Whip. This stuff is so moisturizing and incredible. Look at how thick this texture is. It is honestly so perfect. And like you guys can just see the thickness. It's not going to come out of there like ever. The smell on it, it's so incredible, you guys. Like I can't get enough of this scent. It is lychee and dragon fruit. So if you guys are in the middle of like seasonal depression, winter blues, and you want something that's just gonna take you mentally to a tropical warm place, get this body whip and just smell it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's amazing. It's like one of my favorite scents ever. I wanna bathe in this body whip. Then my next favorite is my new hair dryer. This is the F30 hair dryer. This is what I use today to style my hair along with a round brush, but you guys can see my hair looks so smooth and I have less flyaways whenever I use this hair dryer. This, as you guys can probably tell, is supposed to at least aesthetically be a dupe for the Dyson hair dryer. So here's what it looks like without the attachment. But what I like about this hair dryer in particular is that I never go above the low setting. The air comes out of here so concentrated that even when it's 
low. It dries my hair so fast, which is always great because the less heat that you can put on your hair, the better. And then I also really love the attachments. This is the one that I use the most, but it comes with two other ones. But my favorite one is this comb attachment. This is what I believe just makes my hair so sleek and just helps to reduce the frizz because again, the air is so concentrated and then I'm concentrating it even more that my hair will literally lay in whatever direction I have this pointed in. So it's just such a good hair dryer overall. If you guys have been looking for a new one, I will let you guys know though, the one drawback about this is that once you've been using it for about like 10 minutes or so, the handle does start to heat up a little bit, but that's usually not a problem for me because most of the time I put my hair up in like a microfiber turban, which dries it about like 80% of the way. So I don't really have to use this for very long. All right, then moving into some fashion items, I have to mention two pants. And if you guys saw my recent Abercrombie and Fitch review, you already know what they are. I love Abercrombie's pants. They're so good. So first off, just the fact that they come in short sizes is amazing. And then for the tall girls, they also come in tall. But Abercrombie also offers curve love for girls who are curvier, where they need more room in the hips and then a smaller waist. Basically, Abercrombie just caters to everyone and I really love them for it. The first pair I want to mention are the dad jeans. These have literally replaced my A Goldies as my favorite jeans and if you've been here for a while you know that's a really big deal because my A Goldie jeans are my life. I love them. I recommend them to everyone. I still stand by the fact that they are absolutely worth every penny but if you're not trying to spend $200 on one pair of jeans Try out Abercrombie because their jeans are incredible. Like I said, they come in every shape and size as well as a ton of different styles. So you're definitely gonna find the perfect one for your body. And then the other pair are their vegan leather dad pants. There's a whole video based on both these pants. So I'm not gonna go too in depth into it, but basically the faux leather that they use on this is so buttery and soft and it's stretchy that these are legitimately the most comfortable pair of leather pants you are ever gonna wear in your life. These sell out really fast, so if you happen to click on the link and your size is available, I suggest getting it, no hesitation. The next favorite is a little bit more of a niche favorite, but if you follow along on the vlogs, you know that Michelle, Trevor, and I went to Disneyland earlier this month, which was so much fun. I mean, can I make Disneyland in general a favorite of mine? Because I had the best day at Disneyland. If you guys haven't been to Disneyland in a while and you live in Southern California, I know the tickets are expensive, but just go because it's so much fun, but just go once because it's stupid expensive. Like it's really expensive. I spent so, so much money at Disneyland and a lot of it went to this favorite. I just had to mention my new Disneyland sweatshirt because I am obsessed with it and also because it's perfect for the winter time because it's Sherpa. But this is one of their spirit jerseys. It has the Disney D in the front and then it says Disney across the back. The top of it is kind of like a thinner fleece jersey material, kind of like a sweatshirt material but a little bit thinner. But the bottom is just like fully Sherpa. So if you live somewhere cold, this is gonna be perfect for you. Now that it has finally started getting colder here in Southern California, I can actually wear this and I've been wearing this whenever I'm like up late at night editing because we leave the door open for Spartacus to go in and out and I get like a really cold breeze coming in at the nighttime. So this has just kept me so warm and toasty. And then my last favorite, like I said, you guys, it's quick. But my last favorites are a pair of shoes and it is my new Converse platform high top sneakers. You guys might remember, I kind of have this pair, but in white leather and it's a lug sole, but this one is the classic pair in black. And I've had my eye on this pair for a while and I'm so excited that I got it because I have basically been wearing this everywhere. I'm not gonna lie, I am still breaking it in. These are really, really tough on like the heel portion. It needs to be broken in. Wear thick socks when you wear it the first few times because the heel on it will tear you up a little bit, but I just feel like aesthetically, it's totally worth it. I mean, these are so classic, they go with everything. And as someone who is a shorty, I do appreciate the little bit of lift that it gives me. All right, you guys, well, that is it. It was short and sweet, like I said earlier. I hope you guys enjoyed this November favorites. Don't forget to subscribe and check out Vlogmas. I would love it if you would join me for my little Vlogmas journey this year. And please don't forget to like and comment on this video. I'm always like not sure if you guys want the monthly favorites if it feels like it gets repetitive so the more you interact with them the more I know not to potentially cut them out of 2022 content because honestly I was debating doing that so let me know by interacting with this video if you don't want that to happen but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get going I love you guys thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon again in my next video bye